It's a season of toil and Michael Orinda, a farmer in Kisumu County, cannot afford to take a breather yet. He is harvesting his efforts that have borne fruits. Even though he grows maize, Orinda, a small-scale farmer, is moving beyond the traditional stars of food production, the grains such as wheat, rice and corn, to often crops that have too often been overlooked and neglected. These often crops include cereal crops such as millet, legumes such as cowpeas and grass peas, and root crops that include cassava and sweet potato. But as his family and workers soil their hands season in and season out, they each time hope that the rain will revive their patched fields. It is an uncertain fate with the now infamous and predictable weather conditions that sometimes sees entire harvest destroyed. <laughs> Contrary to being referred to as disadvantaged crops, often crops can come to the rescue of an economy due to their suitability to the agroecology and socio-economic conditions. We are no longer even calling them orphan crops. We are calling them valued traditional crops. Because we realize, you know, even when it comes to our eating habits, we are now changing and going back towards the, 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 the traditional crops. 90 kg of finger millet sells at 4,000 shillings, sorghum at 2,900 shillings, wheat at 3,600 shillings, and cowpeas at 4,000 shillings. 51 kilos of fresh peas goes for 2,500 shillings, sweet potatoes weighing 98 kilos at 2,500 shillings, and cassava weighing 99 kilos at 1,450 shillings. But profits aside, often crops not only remain largely unimproved but are also overlooked even as sources of nutrition. We are no longer looking at cassava as a, a, a farming crop, we are no longer looking at sweet potato, we are looking at this part and parcel of our food security pro, uh, crops. Nonetheless, the cultivation of orphaned crops has gone down because the crops are not seen as an elite food crop in the country. And so, bearing then forgiving heat, many farmers and traders stand by the roadside and flock the markets in the hopes that maybe the next person coming by will be a buyer. An average of about 200,000 farmers have been able to, uh, uh, to benefit every year. There are many other good reasons for making these orphan crops mainstream. To benefit from increased yields, one does not even need to use fertilizer. Renewed attention on orphan crops would no doubt improve husbandry, streamline marketing and boost farmers' revenue, turning orphan crops into crops for the future. Salim Bilu, Citizen Weekend.